Hey, this is Eric Hunter. And I want to talk briefly about how the shape of a pendulum influences its energy or the way it feels to the human biofield. And then also give you some indications on how, based on that knowledge, you can use the pendulum. So let's take a look at this pendulum here. This is the back to nature pendulum. And what you'll notice right away, it has a very linear shape. And when there is a linear shape to a pendulum, that creates a sensation of intensity when it's put into the human biofield. So when I put this down towards my hand, it feels very strong and intense. Now, to counteract that intensity, to make it so that the pendulum is not unpleasant, the pendulum will have open gaps put into it, into the design, and it will also have curves because curvature and open spaces soften or dampen the intensity of the way it's sensed by the body. But the linear shape increases the intensity. So the cool thing about that is when you're designing a pendulum, you can play with the proportion of linearity to curvature and get different results or different effects. So pendulums that look superficially similar to each other may actually have a very different effect on the human biofield and therefore cause different reactions to the stimulation by the body that you're working on or the energy of certain situations that you're clairvoyantly trying to influence with the pendulum. All right, let me show you another one here. So this one here is a dome pendulum and it has the linear shape. So you think, okay, it's gonna be very intense and it is a very strong energy, but it's not intense because it has a lot of curvature in it. Every one of these discs is curved and it also has a lot of open spaces or gaps. So the end result is that you have a very strong energy, but it's not focused and linear. It's more broadly dis dispersed and it actually feels quite pleasant um, when you put it in the human biofield, it almost creates like a warm sensation. It, it feels nice. And if you're doing like body work on somebody, like preparing them for a massage or acupuncture or Reiki or whatever, you can use this pendulum first to prepare them. And it feels great. You can, you know, work on their chakras or whatever, and it'll feel really good. Okay. Let me show you another linear one. This is another linear one. This is the high priestess. So this one, as you can guess, it has a very strong linear aspect to it. It even has like a spike coming off the bottom. So that's going to create this intensity that I was talking about, but it's not unpleasant because it has a lot of curvature in the design. And, though, and it also has open gaps or spaces. And those open gaps or spaces make it so that you can put this in someone's biofield and they're not gonna be like, wow, that feels really unpleasant. It, it feels strong. This one feels very focused and strong. It's like a laser almost coming out, but it's not overwhelming. All right, now there is another totally different approach that you can go and it's to have ones that are more uh, round in shape. So this is the flower of life. You can see there are all these little flowers. And so it has an oval shape. It has you know, a lot of curvature, so that's gonna soften the energy and it has all those gaps between the flowers. That's also gonna soften the energy, but because it's oval, it does have strength to it. There is some intensity because it has somewhat of a linear aspect to it. So when you put this down, it's not gonna feel like a laser beam like or like pressing against your palm, but you are gonna feel intensity from this, but it's a it's a over a broad area. Same thing with the cosmic Merkaba pendulum. This one here, it has linear aspect. There's a star Merkaba inside of it, and that's that's linear and sharp, so that's intense. But there are rings around it, and there's even a little button on the bottom to help soften the energy, a little knob, and then there's open gaps or spaces. So even though this one has a lot of linearity embedded in its design, when you put it in the human biofield, you feel you do feel a little bit from the tip coming in like a focused spot. 
but then there's also a broad like sort of generally stimulating effect coming out of it that's very gentle relatively so this is sort of a combo of intensity and gentleness and this is why this one works so well on the chakras because you can put it over a chakra or over an area of the aura the biofield that's having an issue and the intensity will be focused on one spot and kind of and kind of laser down like into the center of the chakra or the center of the issue. But then also it's going to be sort of a general soft stimulation of the whole surrounding area. And then the body can react to the stimulation and attempt to heal itself. Or the energy field can attempt to heal itself. Okay, here is another one, the tree of life. So there is a tree that has a DNA spiral as the trunk. I don't know if you can see that or not. There, it keeps moving on me. All right, DNA spiral for the trunk. And then it has the vesica Pisces around it. So there's a lot of linearity in this shape. So that creates intensity, but then there's a lot of openness gaps and there's also curvature, so that softens it. So when you put this one, it feels, it feel, you feel it, it feels strong, but it's not, it's not the same as this. This, this feels like a laser beam coming down at you. This just feels like there's something gently, but fairly firmly pressing on your energy field. So that's kind of the general difference. When you look at a pendulum, if it's linear, it's going to be intense. If it's got curvature in it that will soften the intensity if it's got cuts in it that will soften the intensity all right so now oh one more example a universal pendulum here so this one is round it's a ball so it does not really have a lot of linearity so the energy is not it doesn't feel very strong when you when you put it down like in your energy field you feel something definitely but it's not it's totally different than these other ones the only reason you feel any intensity at all is because of the bow that is linear. That's a, it's a line so that, that as linearity is a little bit of intensity. And then there are these two pins or screws that hold it in. That also adds a little bit of linearity or intensity. Um, but, you know, but this like, so this one here has the least interesting in terms of the way it feels to the human biofield because of its shape compared to the other ones. This one's boring. This one has other qualities though that make it cool. But, you know, each one of these different shapes, like, you know, these three here, even though all three are linear, each one is going to have a very different effect on the human biofield based on the proportion of linearity to curvature to open space. Same thing with these ones here. Like, you know, both of these are not fully linear. There's a lot of nonlinear aspects to them and they feel extremely different. So let's talk about what's the value of this. Why does it matter? All right. Well, number one, it's very difficult to predict in advance how a person or situation is going to respond to the stimulation by the pendulum. And that's because each person's energy field is different. Um, each situation has a different energy in the field associated with it. And you know, for the most part, this is all in the realm of clairvoyance. You can't really see it or sense it easily. Some of you can, but you know, a lot of you can't. So you really have to experiment. So what I recommend is if you're starting off making a pendulum collection, make sure to get one linear one that has intensity and get at least one that's kind of round that doesn't have as much intensity, kind of have the extremes. That way, if you're working on a situation you're not getting the result that you want from it, you can just switch to a totally different shape. And many times that will produce a result. Okay, so that's that's point number one. Point number two, as a general rule of thumb, but you can break this rule at any time and, and you may have success breaking it. So that's the thing, like we're dealing with energy, it's very hard to predict all this stuff in advance. But as a general rule of thumb, if you're sending pendulum commands, and or working on very tightly focused areas of the body, like you're just trying to work on a very specific body part or a body region. Um, as a general rule of thumb, the linear ones tend to do a more effective job at that. Whereas if you're working on a broader area or a broader region, like let's say you're scanning somebody's aura or you're trying to work on an entire, on an entire chakra at one time, Generally, these rounder ones tend to work better 
on that. Or if you're like doing a clearing of a house or a land or something, these, these ones tend to do better. But with that said, you may find that there are exceptions to the rule. So, you know, what I do is like this one here, in general, this one is amazing on the chakras and the aura. So like if you're a body worker doing in-person healings, like preparing someone well, doing pendulum alchemy healings or preparing someone for massage, Reiki, acupuncture, any kind of energy healing method that you might use, you can take this pendulum or chiropractic, you can take this pendulum and you can scan it down their body very quickly and you can detect where there is an imbalance in their energy and it will spin around and it will just automatically fix that. And that's really awesome because, you know, then when you're doing your healing work, it doesn't have to fight through a messed up chakra or a tear in the aura because this thing has already just automatically stimulated the body and the energy fields that will be healed by the time you start working. So your energy will flow freely into the person. So as a general rule of thumb, this one is like amazing at that. However, it does not mean that one of these won't work, you know, but you know, but I would say that if given a choice, I'll grab this one first. And if it, if I don't get the effect I want, then I would go to one of these because maybe that chakra requires a little more focus. If I didn't have one of these and this is all I had, well, this is better than nothing. So I'd use it and you'll probably see a result. So like I said, none of this stuff, it's kind of frustrating to certain people because like they want a definite answer. But when you're dealing with subtle things like energy, chakras, the aura, you know, shape energy, it's all very, very subtle and everyone responds differently. So I can only provide generalities, which you have to sometimes just, you know, throw out the window, just be an experiment. Okay, so so let's see, let's summarize here. So use these linear ones for commands generally. Like I would always start first with these for pendulum commands. And these for working on very tightly focused areas. And then I would switch to these other ones that are not as linear or that have a lot of gaps and openings like this one for other situations. Like we're trying to work on broader areas or just trying to generally send healing or trying to work on something big like an entire chakra or the whole aura or the entire house or the entire land area. That would be the general approach. But as I said, have at least one other alternative so you can switch it up if you're not getting the result that you want. Or if intuitively you feel that way, you know, normally I use that cosmic Merkaba or the flower of life or the tree of life to work on the chakras. But for some reason, intuitively, I feel like the wood dome is what I need to use today. Um, or like this one, the, the back to nature is the one I need to use today because you know, like I said, sometimes you'll have to break the rule, you know, um, and that's the thing. I just, you just can't totally 100% predict all this stuff in advance. And that's why I always have to be a little vague in my descriptions because it's like, you know, you can play golf with a single golf club or you can have a variety of clubs to choose for certain situations. And while someone who's a total master could play like the entire thing with one club, most people are going to need like some options so you can kind of think of it that way. So like having different shapes is like having different golf clubs that you can choose from, you know, like these broader ones you would use for, you know, the, the broader areas. These linear ones are for more focused intention or trying to really focus the energy, trying to get it sent or very strongly send energy to a specific situation or person or thing. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, post your questions and comments below. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you for that. Have a wonderful day. Bye.